Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I'm gonna to show you how I got this look. I am trying out a lot of new products and revisiting a couple of older products that I knew I loved back when I tried it a few years ago, but I wanted to try it out now that I'm a little bit older and I'm really happy with the way everything turned out. So I hope that you stick with me. If you're not new here, thank you for returning. And if you're new here, my name is Julie Meikle. I'm 52 years old. I'm a professional makeup artist, a licensed hairstylist. I dip into fashion a little bit and I'm hoping to help you out and build a community of wonderful, loving, aging women who understand what we're going through. The women that I've met in my comments are wonderful, beautiful souls, non-judgmental. They're women that lift each other up. So if you're one of those people and you resonate with this energy, I would love for you to subscribe and stick with me through this video. I've had fun and I've learned a lot. So I'd like to share that with you. All the products that I use today will be listed in the description box for you. They are affiliate links. If you use them, thank you so much. It does provide me with a small commission. If you don't, that's okay. I'm just so grateful that you're here. And yeah, that's it. Let's get on with the video. I ordered a foundation that I had tried a long time ago and I really liked, and I wanted to see if it works still on my mature skin. This is, I think it's been at least a few years since I worked with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I thought it might be a good option for the summertime for you. And I've got some other goodies to try too. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. What do I have on my skin right now? I actually just used the Zip Halo. I have a little bit of this left over on my face. I didn't wash it all completely off because I kind of like the hydration of it. So my skin feels pretty good right now. The ingredients are water, glycerin, and it's really hard to see because it's white on silver. Yeah, I have no idea, I can't see. So it's not bad for the skin if it's left on. And yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I didn't think that I was gonna use this as often as I do, but I've been using it. It's enjoyable to use out of everything that I've tried so far. I've tried the new face and nothing wrong with that. I just don't stick with it. This I've been sticking with. I'm kind of excited to use it. It's not a bother. And I think it's because of the app. I feel like I have company because on the app, the owner or the CEO of the company is actually walking you through the process. It makes me feel like I'm doing it with a girlfriend. So I've got a little bit of that on. I don't have eye cream on though, so I am going to use the Advanced Repair Eye Cream from Go Pure. Oh, I got way too much. I like this because it's nice and light. I don't wanna put anything heavy under there right before makeup. If you have a richer moisturizer that you wanna use under your eye, make sure to do it at nighttime, unless you're not a makeup wearer, that's fine. I want a slip to my skin. This is the Laura Mercier Hydrating Pure Canvas Primer. I have used this before. Do I need as much hydrating? I think so. I wouldn't take a chance with this. It is a soft matte finish. Considering I'm naturally dry, I just wanna make sure it has a nice slip. It is pouring rain today and I'm not going outside. So I'm not gonna worry about sunscreen. I self tan myself and I've got, well, this hand's not so bad. This one, uh, not so good. The hands are the hardest when I self tan. I did get the concealer as well. I have a lot of choices because I placed a big order for, with the Sephora sale. And if you hadn't seen my last video, I'm trying to spread it out over multiple videos. Five minutes later, the dogs are still growling. My cleaner's here. I love Wednesdays. We used to have our cleaner come on Fridays so that it would be freshly clean for the weekend. And I had to clean the house on Fridays. You know, everybody cleans the house before the cleaners come. I feel like I have a longer weekend now that it's on Wednesdays. So I really enjoy it. So it has set in because these guys won't stop talking. I am going to go in with a MAC 170. Uh, let's start off on my sunspot there first. It goes on, oops. It goes on a little bit darker, but when I blend it out, it matches really, but when I blend it out, it matches really well. I remember really liking this. Oh, I hope I'm right. I should have primed one side with and one side without. Darn, if I could get better at organizing, that would be great. Yeah, that looks really nice. I've been using natural skin caring foundation or skin glowing foundation, and I was in for a change today. There's one side and there's the other. I changed my lighting a little bit today. 
Let me know if you see a difference right down my neck to get rid of the redness. I wish I could put that all the way down. I had somebody watch my video the other day and comment and what did she say? She said, I hope you use sunblock because you have sun damage on your face and your chest. Face palm emoji. I don't know why people need to do that. Like, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. I kind of laugh at it, but I'm like, yeah, I'm 52 years old. I'm a natural ginger. I was raised in an era where sunscreen wasn't a big thing. Of course I have sun damage. Did she think I didn't know I had sun damage? They never have pictures on the photo icon. It's a safe place for them, apparently. I did buy the Too Faced concealer, so I want to use that. I used to really like this too, and I would recommend it to a lot of people when I worked at Sephora. I got this in the color Linen Beige. When I go on Sephora's website or any brand's website, but Sephora actually is really good for this. When you click on the different colors on the website, it will say fair, fair neutral, fair light, fair cool, fair olive. My collection is typically a light or light medium neutral. It depends on whether I'm my natural color or if I've self tanned. Let's see what this looks like. It looks a touch yellow to me, but so did the foundation until I blended it out. This has a really nice coverage. If you're not prepped well, or if you have really dry skin, you're not gonna like it. Right under the lash line. I'm gonna take whatever is left on my brush over top as well, just to cancel out any of the violet tones there. I should have gone lighter for sure. Oh well, we'll make it work. Darn it. That's disappointing. I'm gonna blend it out with my foundation brush and see if I can, I don't know, change that a little bit. Crap, did that help? I mean, it covered. I just need a different color. I need something on my lips as well. Can you ever see the texture of my lips on this camera? They look dry. Or, yeah, they're very textured. I don't notice that when I look in the mirror, but when I'm on camera and when I'm editing, I really see it. Strange. Oh, <laughs> my mirror was in front of the light. I'm a work in progress. What did I say I was gonna do? I just tinted my eyelashes and my eyebrows today. I do have a few short videos up showing how I do that. I feel so much better now though. I do it all the time, but I wanna play with those Lashify lashes and they're dark. So I couldn't imagine the dark Lashify lashes over top of blonde lashes. How many times can one say lashes? Oh, I wanted to show you my new earrings too. Hold on, I'm so distracted. Look at these monsters. I said to my son, what do you think of these? And he said, they're long. Yes, they are long. As my mother would say, Christmas tree ornaments. That's what I love to wear, big and funky. Yeah, look it. I feel very fancy now. I will brighten this up later, probably with my Fenty concealer. Um, that's nice and light, it's a 200C, so it's gonna brighten up, but I'll only put it right there. Now, I have a new eyeshadow. I know I bounce around. Blush and lips are typically what I end off with. I don't do that on purpose. I go all over the place. Oh, my eyeshadow idea isn't gonna work today because it was a violet. I don't think that's gonna go with this outfit. This is the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick. I got Mulberry. I went to use it in another video and it was empty. So I got it during the sale. That's what Mulberry looks like. It's so pretty. Let's get that off. And I always start off in the outer corner first. Which brush am I gonna use? For this, I want something that has a little bit of a smaller, yeah, a little bit of a smaller brush because it's a little bit stiffer. And I wanna be specific. I don't wanna go too far out here. So if I just use a little bit more of a detailed blending brush, I'll show you versus something like that. So this is the one I'm using. This brush gives me more control. Oh, I should tell you what I'm using. It is the 211 from BK Beauty. BK Beauty's having their Mother's Day sale. They're having a really good one. I always have a discount code. I never mention that, I keep forgetting. If you're looking for new brushes, they're very good. So I'm just gonna keep building it up. Oh, look at. Now what's my neighbor doing? Our 
Are you kidding me right now? I'm going to leave this area a little bit lighter. But I do want it soft and smudgy. So whatever's left on my brush, I'm going to pull up a little bit. Circular motions. I guess I have to close my window. Darn it. My husband and I went and looked at a house the other day. We weren't in the market to look for a house, but I had some ideas. So we went and looked at this house and it's very cute. It's an old farmhouse. It's not really functional for what we need, but the big picture is it has a lot of land and we have four kids. I mentioned to my husband the other day how if we had land, if one day the kids needed property to build a house on, then we would have it. And he went for the idea, I couldn't believe it. So yeah, we went out and looked at the house and we would have to figure out what we can get for our house, of course, and, and it would have to pass an inspection and we'd have to figure out all that stuff because the owners did a lot of work themselves and you can tell, not that it's not pretty, but it's not up to code. We can see a few things that aren't up to code. Some people I know are getting chickens and my daughter keeps talking about having a garden and not relying on grocery stores to feed herself and feed who she cares about. There's people around me that they all kind of have this same energy that they want to be able to provide for themselves and not rely on commercial, you know, retailers. And I like that idea. I like that if something were to go awry, that if I needed to, I could still look after my family. And I'm not a fear-based person at all, so it's not coming from fear. It's just coming from a prepared state of mind, you know? It's an old farmhouse, so there's absolutely no closet space. They redid it nicely, but yeah, it's not exactly the most functional situation. But I was saying to my husband, we could live like that for a while and then save our money and redo it or build another house that we really want on another part of the property. So our real estate agent is coming today to look at our house to see what we could get for it or what he thinks that we could get for it. And who knows, maybe it's a big dream. I didn't think I'd ever want to move out to the country again. I grew up in the country. I had a sugar shandy up the hill. We would always go and get the maple syrup. We weren't direct neighbors with the farm, but there was a little hill, the sugar shandy, and then when she went over the hill, there was a farm there. My mom one time, she went and helped after work. She had heels on and she was chasing cows all over the place because they had gotten loose. I enjoyed going for walks back in the bush. And yeah, it'd be kind of neat. Oh, I didn't leave a space there, did I? Oh, it's not even. Okay, well, let me just bring that over. I got talking. This foundation is looking really nice. Is that because I'm so hydrated? I don't remember it looking dewy like that, but I did skin prep really well. Let me put a little bit on my hand that doesn't have the skin prep on. I wanna show you for real what this looks like if you weren't to use the same. I'll put a good amount. Okay, so there it is. And we'll see how it dries down without powdering. I feel like I have to pull this up a little bit right there because it's dragging down a little bit. Not bad. Like that's one eyeshadow, guys, one eyeshadow. I'm not gonna leave it like that, but you see, it's the easiest thing and it lasts. It's always this side that makes it a little weird. Let's just fill that space in. They're building a garden, that's what they're doing. I was wondering why, what are they working on? See, everybody's building gardens. My daughter grew her own green onions the other day. She showed me. It's so easy. I've seen videos before, but she just went ahead and did it. So she's got her own green onions growing all the time. She never has to buy again. That's pretty. Do I need anything else? Should I build this up a little bit more? I kind of like how soft it is. I'm going to go a little bit darker right here and see if I can create more depth. And maybe just leave it like that. I'm gonna use City Beauty. This is the Beyond Mascara. I liked it when I tried it, so I'm gonna to try to use some of this up. This is a Refer Lash Curler, which I'll probably end up giving to my daughter next time I see her. I think this will fit her lashes nicely. I do wanna pop it a little bit with something. I'm gonna use another Bobbi Brown Cream Shadow Stick, and this is a dual-ended long wear, and this is called Pink Steel. I think that's gonna be pretty. Let's check out this foundation too. 
Yes, so it's dried down. So no shine, no dewiness. It's a really good foundation for all skin types, honestly, because you can prep well underneath and it looks good, like it looks fresh like that. All right, so I'm gonna do pink steel right here. I don't want it to be super light. Just finished with something. I should show you what this looks like. Hold on. So that is pink steel. Yeah, like that. So I got to see my brother and my sister-in-law and my two nieces on the weekend. Oh, I wish they lived closer. I went to the yoga therapist the other day and I don't think I realized the therapy part of it. I knew I was going for yoga, but we talked for a long time and she asked questions. And one of the questions she asked me, I think was, what's the most important thing to you in your life? And my, I didn't have to hesitate, it's my family. Going to see my brother and sister-in-law and my two nieces made my heart happy. It took us nine hours, or me nine hours, because I had to go pick up my mom and dad an hour away. On the way though. So I was in the car for nine hours on Friday. It's less time for me to go see my daughter in New York, which is gonna happen soon. My cleaner speaks Spanish and I don't. I don't like that. I never want anyone helping me out with the house or anything in life to feel like the help, you know? So I've always gotten to know them and really shown interest in their lives. And with Marie, it's so difficult. I did give her a powder though. I had a Laura Mercier powder that was too dark for me. For some reason, I didn't look at the color before I bought it when I was at Sephora. And I didn't have anyone to give it to, but it worked perfect for her. So I walked out, not speaking a lick of her language and just said, here. My eyes look really white, by the way, because I used that, um, what is it? Lumify. I don't use Lumify very often, but do I ever like the look when I do? I find it's too hard on my eyes if I use it often. But since I was being fancy today, I wanted to use it. Swede sent me their powder. This is the Miracle Powder. They asked me what color to send and I thought I was correct. Medium light, number zero two, but it's too dark. So I used it the other day as a bronzer and I haven't edited the video yet. And I have a feeling I'm gonna edit this first before the other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it and show you. It's really pretty. It's very silky and soft. I'm gonna use a Refer 22 and it's nice and fluffy and it's dense. And I'm going to tap it into the lid. It's got lots of product in there. When I used it the other day, it went on super smooth. Before contour and bronzer was really popular in the drugstore and while well, I didn't have in my small town anything else but the drugstore, I would take a darker color in a powder. I believe it was Max Factor I always used. And I remember using it just like this I was in high school and my girlfriends would say, how are you doing that? And it was just a darker powder. Sure does last a lot longer than a typical bronzer. I don't know how much product is in here. I shall tell you. This is 24 ounces. This is 0.35 ounces. And try not to get a glasses mark on my nose. And the House Labs is 0.42 ounces. It makes you think, doesn't it? How can I save money? Well, this is how. It does have a radiance to it though, so if you don't like that, you're not gonna like it. Why is that so radiant? Is it that radiant? Or do I have something on my brush? Wait a minute. It is very radiant. I don't remember that before. Is it too much, do you think? Oh goodness. Let's see. Whoa, I'm really glowy. Uh, okay, I really like it. I think it's still very pretty. I'm glad I only put it on as a bronzer though because I would not want that all over my face. That really created a highlight there. I have to look at it in natural light. Spur of the moment as always. Okay. I feel like it's pretty. Does it enhance my fine lines? I, I don't know. I feel like it looks pretty, but I can't really see because I'm looking in the camera. So you guys let me know. Let's not forget about this. Get that off. I'm gonna try this one. That looks pretty. This is the Pure Pressed Blush. Is there a shine? No, there's no shine. This is called Flourish. I'm gonna use my Refer 05, my favorite blush brush. I keep it higher up on my cheek, but I still bring it down. It has to be blended. I 
I do think I want a little bit more depth here. I already have these bronzers out, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my House Labs. I'm gonna use the same brush that I did with my blush, because the other one has shine on it, and I don't want more shine. I'm gonna work it into my hairline. You'll see it will bring some depth and create more light in the center of my face. For my brows, I'm gonna use the NYX Lift and Snatch again. I keep using this, it's in color taupe. Oh, I wanna powder this down actually with a matte powder. I ordered this during the sale too. This is Morphe Totally Set Mini Brighten and Set Powder Duo. I really like this makeup look and I'm worried I'm gonna ruin it. Okay, so this one is the translucent. Tap a little bit in my lid there. I'm going to use a BK Beauty 112. It's just a fluffy brush, has a bit of an angle to it. It's not gonna pick up a ton of product and I really wanna powder right in here. That's better. Powder around my brows so it stays and right in there. Hmm, that looks pretty good. Did I put foundation on my nose? I can't remember if I did. Sometimes I think I forget. I'm so worried about the rest of my face. Hey, that's nice so far. Remember this is a first impression, so I like it right now. I will keep testing it, but that looks good. I'm gonna bring it over a little bit where I feel a little shiny. Completely diffused my pores and around my nose. It's such a heavy gray day with the rain. Do you guys get headaches? It's been lingering all day. I think this is one of my favorite brow products. I keep reaching for it and I'm never sorry. I'm just gonna soften this up a little bit. I can use that concealer to fix my little Spock brow there. I really like that powder. Like really like that powder. And I think I will take a little bit of the setting powder and dust it right underneath my brows, right there. That's just gonna soften the edge of the eyeshadow as well. Yeah, I feel better. I think that looks more polished. I'm almost done. What blush was I gonna use again? I did, oh, it doesn't look like I have a blush on. If I forget that I had blush on, it's not enough. That's not good. Oh, I have a new setting spray to try too. I've got the Cali Ray Surf Proof Setting Spray. Let me get my blush. Focus, Julie, focus. I've got the Color Fuse Blush by House Labs. I got the color French Rosette. I didn't have that one before. Not doing a good job at holding some of the products for future videos. That's pretty. I'm gonna use my Nikki LaRose brush. This is an N15. This is pretty. I think this one would look better when I'm not self-tanned, probably. And take my foundation brush and just clean it up a little bit. I am creasing a little bit, that's okay, I didn't powder it. I'm just gonna go blend that out a little bit. I'm gonna use my Fenty right in here where I want it brighter. Just a little bit. And the rest I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna let that sit for a second and figure out my lips. I have a Lawless lipstick, Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Satin Cream Lipstick. I got it in Femme. And that's what that looks like. I'm gonna put it on the fair side of my skin too so you can see. It's described as a soft blushing rose. It's clean at Sephora, cruelty-free, hydrating, vegan, satin finish, and plumping. 
Oh, this is a second lipstick that I've seen that the first ingredient is Rickinus Communis. I don't know how to say it. Castor seed oil. Okay. What was the other one I tried? The other one was from Queen Musea. Oh, I forgot about my concealer. I want to try it on without a lip liner first so we can see the color. I'm going to blend it out with the Nikki LaRose brush. I just want to airbrushed look there. Yeah, that looks brighter. Definitely brightened it up. All right, so let's try this. Oh, that's pretty. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. See if I can feel any plumping or if we can see any plumping, I highly doubt it. I'm gonna spray a little bit with my setting spray. Can you see the mist? The mist of this is so fine. I don't feel any plumping. That's okay, I'm not a fan of plumping really. I tried the Lawless lip gloss and I really liked it too, partly because I love the color and it didn't burn my lips. I don't know why they say it's plumping. I really like this color, so I don't wanna change it too much. I like the freshness of it. I'm gonna use Muted Mauve or Mauve, however you wanna say it. I'm just gonna put it over top of my lipstick rather than taking it off. To make it last longer, I would always do it the opposite way though. I have a little bit of creasing here after that set, so I'm gonna powder that as well. Okay, so I guess I should try the Morphe powder in pink. Where did it go? It was behind my mirror. I don't know how that happened. I'm gonna use a refer number 16, just a nice fluffy brush. Tap some in my lid again, and just place it very lightly where I need it. Okay, I'm done. I love this look. I feel like my cheeks are toned down a little bit now that I use that matte blush. I don't mind that glow. I was very confused. I don't remember this having a shimmer, but I like it. Maybe I'll use this in a TikTok or in a YouTube shorts. It's all the same thing. I just share the reels to everything. Maybe I'll try this on its own without a foundation underneath. Remember, these are first impressions for some of them. If you have any questions regarding anything I used or anything at all, please let me know in the comments. I love talking to you and getting to know you, and I feel like I have a purpose when I answer your questions. It just makes me feel good. So don't hesitate to ask. I try to answer everybody. If you're not already subscribed, I hope you subscribed and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm trying to build my channel here, and I would be very grateful if you did that. Thank you for staying with me. I hope this helps and I will see you in my next video. Bye!